Hello guys, welcome to the series of video tutorials based on Character Studios on 3ds Max Biped. Let's get in touch with Biped. Uh, I hope you will understand everything because this is a, an amazing, amazing and great tool for animators. So to create a Biped, just need to go to Systems you can find it right here so just click it and drag in the viewport so you will get a basic skeleton right there so you can go you will see a lot of tools right here for now we'll try to touch you know all the tools but for now let's get it started with biped so figure mode what is figure mode figure mode is is the first tool for create a biped because with this tool you configure the full structure of the biped out the figure mode you cannot modify the biped so inside the figure mode you can modify your biped and fix to to your skin for your model so let's talk about figure mode so in figure mode you don't have a lot of tools because you know all these tools was for animations so let's talk about figure mode right now so here you can find the track selection for move your your biped you can select one part you can select the opposite part or you can select both part that's tool is for fit to your to your 3d model you can just fit one part if your model is symmetric you can just fit one part and use this tool for copy just copy and paste right here so the biped will paste their the position of this hand on the opposite hand you can select the the wall hand copy and paste right here so that's the use uh, for now for copy and paste we, we will deal with this more in deep in coming tutorials but for now that's the base of, of the copy and paste position the structure is a little bit complex uh, but we try to get everything so body type is just the beeper style of the of the biped. We got a female, we got a male, we got a skeleton that this one was the classic. And we got the classic. So I prefer to use the the classic view. But well, that's my personal. So in the structure you can change neck quantity spine links so mostly I use tr just three leg links so you can add one more it's like for a horse that kind of animals or monsters you can use this tool it's, it's amazing or use a biped as as quadruped it's, it's very possible use the biped as as an animal as a dog a werewolf uh, that kind of stuff you can have a tail You can have a ponytail. You 
you can have another one. You can add fingers, finger links. You can add tools. Okay. You can add some props for animation. Prop 2 or prop, prop G. You can move the, the ankle to fit to your model. This is the size of, of the biped change the size right here triangle pelvis and triangle neck is most used uh, for some game engines like unity sometimes ask for this one but it's not like really important so that's the way to change the the bone structures the hands way I prefer to use it as, as the Viper has. So you got the extra, we, we will explain the twist in a little bit. Let's talk about the extracts. Extra was like extra bones. You don't need to create bones, extra bones to work with Viper. You just have excellent extra bones right here in, in the Viper structure. To create an extra you just need to add extra bonds with this tool right here this tool say to the extra bonds what link right to this bond or the bond you want if you want the extra bond depend of the of, of the hair you select the hair with this tool it's make like a wings so extra bond will be attacked to shoulder so let's create like wings with four links another extra right here You can create whatever you want with extra bonds and the best is just select this and you create the deposit with this tool so if it's the best way to create extra bonds for biter so I hope you got this part it's, it's very easy to use and you can delete extra ones it's, it's very easy to delete uh, you can just clone this these bones clone this one clone separated by part or you just clone everything so when you move this part of the biped, you know, it's, it's linked to this one because you select the tool for a link to the clavicle. So that's the way to use extra bones. Even you can copy the position. So if you move this one, 
like, like this one you want this one have the same position and just copy and paste the baby will do it for you that's an amazing tool for for riggers so let's explain to you the twist when you create a twist it's more useful for forearms let's make four twist this will smooth your rig If you don't have the twist, the hand will break your skin. Let's show you with a with example. Okay, in this biped we have the twist. You can see it inside. Go to the structure. You can see we we have five twists on the forearms. So you will see the difference. Right now when I animate or I want to move the hand, I have a nice twist on the skin. You see the movement came in from here. You see that looks nice. It's a smooth trick. When you don't have a twist, you will have a not that nice movement for, for the skin formation videos will deform it you know it's not looking like very very nice as this one that's more look more realistic and human So that's all for the figure mode. So you got the figure mode completely. I hope you understand the first part of biped. Um, see you soon guys with more of the biped tools.